What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And nowadays, everybody and their mother is sports gambling. Whether that be on FanDuel, whether that be on... What is it? Draft Champions? It's not Draft Champions. That's that's what that's what it is on Madden, isn't it? That's Draft Champs is Madden. Whatever the other large betting site is, everybody and their mother is betting on something whether that be any of the four big american sports whether that be a parlay bet or whether that be korean baseball at three in the morning somebody somewhere is finding a way to waste their money so why not throw out a line for the jacksonville jaguars and place some lines for some bets and we can bet the over or we can bet the under. I have some end of the season lines for specific stat categories for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we are going to see if I think it's going to be over or under. And I need to know what you guys think in the comments section down below as well. And, you know, maybe I'll come back to this video and give the person who is closest a little giveaway. A little bit of a reward. Who knows, maybe I can just be that nice. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Over or under? Let's kick things off on the offensive side of the ball. And I decided to go with Travis Etienne instead of James Robinson. And I decided to say, is Travis Etienne going to get over or under 500 yards rushing? Now, I think Travis Etienne is going to be more of a receiving threat. I think he will get over 500 yards rushing. I mean, over 500 yards receiving. I think, you know, the you know the running duties, the first and second down, get the handoff, get the tough yardage, that's going to be James Robinson's doing. And when he doesn't do it, I think that's going to be more of Carlos Hyde. I think he's going to get his reps in at the running back position. Don't get me wrong. But I think more of those downhill runs are going to be given to James Robinson and Carlos Hyde. I think he's going to come in at just about 430 yards rushing with about 515 yards receiving. So I'm going to have to take the under on 500 yards rushing for Travis Etienne. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now we got to go on to our golden boy, Mr. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence was a hard one for me to uh, make personally. And again, these aren't Vegas lines either. These are lines that I just made up. So, um, yeah. With Trevor Lawrence, we're going to go with yards. We're going to go with over or under 3,500 yards. Now, that's kind of an easy line, I think. I think 3,500 is an easy over. But... You know, if something happens, you know, maybe the offensive line doesn't perform so well. Maybe some injuries happen along the lines. I can see it kind of being almost, you know, exactly at like a 3,500 mark, you know. But I, I think either way, he's going to be getting his. He's going to be getting, you know, a lot of yards through the air, especially with the targets he has downfield and a versatile running back that could also catch passes out of the backfield in uh, Travis Etienne. And, you know, having guys that can do a lot after the catch, you know, can turn a 10-yard pass into a 25-yard gain like LaVisca Chenault. I think he's easily going to be able to eclipse that 3,500-yard um, passing mark. I think he's going to be just around the 4,000-yard marker. And, um, yeah, I, and I don't think – I think Trevor Lawrence, too, a, a bold take. We'll throw a bold take into this uh, little YouTube video as well. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to – break the single like franchise record for the Jacksonville Jaguars in passing yards at in like four seasons four or five seasons I don't even know what the exact number is I, I'm assuming Brunel has it because you know he, he why wouldn't he but I, I'm gonna say Trevor Lawrence breaks that pretty quick in his career and year one is a good start and he gets over 3,500 yards and I'm gonna say he hits around that 4,000 yard mark and the last um, prop bet here for the offense, we got DJ Chark, and his line is going to be exactly at 1,000 yards. Is he going to get over or under that? 
He didn't get over 1,000 yards last year. However, he did get over 1,000 yards the year before. He did just have a little baby girl, and it seems like wide receivers always perform a little bit better after having a kid. And, you know, I think he's he's going to be um, Trevor Lawrence's, you know, go-to guy outside of maybe Travis Etienne in the little dump-off screen game there. But uh, you got to think, too, you got guys like Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, you know, kind of coming into his own. So, you know, maybe some of his targets are going to be taken away because, you know, obviously the number one corner is always going to be following DJ Chark. But, you know, now with all these targets running around, Trevor Lawrence has a little bit more options. And, you know, again, that might even go to DJ Chark's benefit because he might not always have the best guy covering him. So I can see DJ Chark being the leading receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2021, and he is going to hit over the 1,000-yard marker for me, ladies and gentlemen. So those were the prop bets for the offense. Let me know what you think, over or under, and let's move on to the defensive side of the ball. Now I have two uh, prop bets for the defensive side of the ball and it doesn't come from any specific players I think that um, as far as this defense goes I think it's it's better to come up with a more specific line that has to go with the team as a whole as opposed to individual players because I think this team is plays better as a unit as as opposed to you know one specific player being you know a game changer or a fantastic difference maker you know so I think that that was a more fair um, assessment on this defense so my first line is players with multiple interceptions I have that line at two and I'm going to choose the under on that um, I, I, I do think the Jaguars secondary got better but as far as players with multiple interceptions I think maybe one player will have multiple interceptions, and I think that's going to come from the safety position. So Jenkins or Cisco, I think, is going to be the guy that has those multiple interceptions. But I think all these corners, you know, are going to spread out, kind of get those single picks. All of them are going to have, like, one or so. But I think there's only going to be one guy, maybe really, like, exactly at the line of two um, players are going to have multiple interceptions for the Jacksonville Jaguars this season. I should I should say that actually I'm going to change I'm going to change what that bet is. I'm going to say more than two interceptions because yeah I'm going to say more than two because I can see I don't think yeah that's when the Jaguars play their best is when they get turnovers but um. Yeah, I I don't see this defense really causing too many turnovers just because they don't really have an elite pass rush. So they're going to have to kind of create their own turnovers. And uh, hopefully I'm wrong about that, but I'm going to have to choose the under on having two players with more than two interceptions on the Jacksonville Jaguars roster next season. And, you know, that's unfortunate, but I think once they kind of come along and, you know, I think next year's the year the Jaguars kind of really sit down, assess the offensive and the defensive line after kind of, you know, building their skill positions and building their secondary and their linebackers up for the future. I think that's kind of when you need to, you know, really address where the holes are, the specific holes in a group that's about average. So that'll be that'll be uh, where it is. Now for the next defensive prop bet, we have a sack bet. And as a team, will the Jacksonville Jaguars have more or less over or under 25 sacks next year? I'm going to have to choose the over on this one, hopefully, because last year was a terrible year for sacks. And it was just, man, I remember just watching those games and being like, God, we cannot buy a sack. Like, we are literally on the side of the road, itching our skin like there's bugs underneath them, just praying and praying somebody will hand us out a free shot of fucking a sack because we cannot buy one here on the street, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully this year, with a little bit more improved depth on the defensive line, switching up to a 3-4, maybe some you know exotic blitz packages, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to try and get after the quarterback, and they can get over 25 sacks. I believe they got 21 last year, so this would be four more 
than a year ago, and that is still not going to cut it. So hopefully it improves. This defense for me is not really a world beater of a defense. I think they have good talent around them, but I think they're still like that one year away from actually being really great. And, you know, I also said that about the 2017 Jaguars defense, too, and they ended up being really, really good in year one. But, you know, they we had some all pros out there, you know, like Jalen Ramsey, A.J. Boye, a, elite defensive line. The Jaguars don't have that elite defensive line right now. So hopefully we can choose the over and choose that with confidence. But I'm kind of, I'm not going to hold my breath on the sack one. I can hold my breath maybe on the interception bet. But I'm not holding my breath on the sack bet at all. Now, finally, we're going to go with Josh Lambeau. Josh Lambeau, over or under 90% of his field goals this year. And I'm going to be smart and choose the under because, you know, if, if he's hitting over 90%, he hits like, what, he hit like 95, he hit 97. I just, for a whole 16-game season, maybe not, maybe not. But, you know, uh, maybe right at 90 or like 89%. But, yeah, if he wiles out and hits 97%, I will be very happy for my man, uh, Josh Lambeau. But I'm going to choose the under on that one. Let me know all of your opinions on these bets in the comment section down below. And that was the Jacksonville Jaguars over or under. What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.